last, this is the instrument you've heard about. Our former administrator built it. He designed everything, right down to the last detail. Now, over here we have the bed. Above it, the top section we call the scribe. And this part in the middle is known as the pen, which actually carries out the operation. The pen? The term pen better conveys the slick, upbeat approach that's in fashion today. Operation? Pen, scribe, what happens? They didn't. This new administration doesn't explain anything, does it? Whatever. I'm the best person to explain anyway. Because over here, we have the manual our last administrator wrote. To form my administrator, write a manual too. Did he do everything himself? This person, for example, will bear the inscription, staples cannot be fed into the paper shredder. The detainee knows about this sentence, does he? Not exactly. So he doesn't know what's going on? There isn't any point in telling him. But surely he knows why his tribunal decided. No? But he must be allowed to defend himself. Look, I'll just give you the basics for now. When the detainee is conjoined with the bed, the scribe moves over and positions the print head. Water keeps the inscription clear, thus allowing excess body fluids down the waste pipes and into the drain. <laughs> Stand him up! I think I've seen enough. You haven't seen anything yet. The technology of the scribe is accurate to within a millimetre. If we consult the manual, Read this. Read what? It's as clear as day. Just read it. I can't. I don't understand it. I suppose this manual's a little bit too advanced for some people. Yeah, that's right. It's way too advanced for me. You see, the entire procedure is under threat. Many approve, of course, but nobody wants to admit that in front of the new administration. And this is why the instrument is neglected. Not so long ago, this auditorium would have been packed with a select few, each paying a fortune to watch a single operation. This is all that's left of those days now. Why, to the final hour, it was transcendental how we gaze into the subject's eyes, awaiting the final moment of revelation! Sorry, I apologize profusely. Look, the new administrator invited you here to use your report against me. Your story, of course, will say how much you admire the instrument. This has nothing to do with me. I'm a reporter here, and you way overestimate my influence. So, if your administrator really does have it in for you, then it's all over, no matter what I say. 
isn't it? You've only just arrived here. You think that makes you irrelevant? What you say is crucial. Help me make a stand against the new administrator. How am I supposed to do that? There is no way I can. Yes, you can. After here, you'll attend a downsizing meeting. The new administrator will be listening intently to what you have to say. When he asks you, shout your belief straight into his face. It'll make him admit his errors. So can you help? Of course you will, you must! No. You want me to explain? There is no way I can justify this. I realize how much you believe in your machine, but I can write a report based just on that. Don't you understand? Anyhow, I won't be staying long enough to attend any meetings. You see, I'll have to write up the story immediately before tomorrow. So, I failed to convince you. Then it's time. Time for what? You can go now. Yes, I'm going to let you go. Lie still, or you'll break my straps. <laughs> Well then. Stop this now. I'll tell them whatever you want. I beg you. It's too late. I've started a new operation for the final procedure. But which operation? You've set the man free. I've installed fresh data. Watch. <laughs> 